welcome back nerdlings. Today we're going to be talking about bases. Now I love making custom bases. Um, the, the main reason I like making custom bases is because a lot of the bases that Games Workshop make, that especially the large ones, uh, aren't really that strong. So these ones which just have a light sort of lattice work on the back as you can see here. I mean that uh, they're good for plastic models and stuff like that, but if you were to put a heavy lead model, especially something as heavy as a, you know, an old giant, which is, you know, could be one or two kilograms onto this, it's going to bend. It, it, there's, there's no two ways about it. It's too thin to withstand that sort of <laughs> punishment, if you will. So, I mean, I'm a big fan of um, Games Workshop's bases. I think they do some smart bases, and they are really cool. However, for the larger stuff, and the, especially the heavier stuff, no good. So we'll throw that away. And uh, what we'll do is we'll go to old plastic blast markers. So I've, I've been doing this for a while now, really. I mean, I've been using plastic blast markers probably for five years. Ever since I've sort of been doing sort of apocalypse sort of scale uh, miniatures. Basically, the, the, the old sort of blast marker is my sort of favoured way to go. So to prepare it, all I do is I'll stick something over the over the middle hole. And what I'll do is I'll, I'll fill in the, op the opposite side with some Miller putt, just to smooth it across so it's nice and smooth. So this is this smooth side, which you can see in the, the, the shine of the light, is going to be the downside. This this smooth side is the downside. Um, so there's a lot of surface area, and any any pressure that goes through it, it's going to be e evenly distributed across the whole thing. So this is the this is the underside, if you want. Now the the up, or the uh, the sort of the side that you're going to be dealing with is the sort of the as you can hear the raised side. And you can see it in the light a little bit there as well. So the ray side is where you're going to stick everything. So basically what I do is, is exactly that. So here's one I made earlier, uh, as the saying goes. So I did exactly what I said. I filled in the, the hole. I, I, well, first of all, I covered up, covered up the hole with just a little bit of, um, I think it's just a bit of card. Super glued it across and then just filled in the, the hole with some millipump. Now don't worry about all this stuff because what we're going to do is we're actually going to spray all of this matte colour. It doesn't really matter what colour but just to make it nice and neat I always I always spray it black. And what I'll do is I'll spray it all black then I'll leave it to dry, dry completely overnight. I'll then spray it again with some uh, matte varnish and a coat of the black again. So basically, I've, I've, I'm making as as tough a or, or as, as a, a resistant finish as possible on the underside. So it's not going to get scratched and or marked moving it around, moving it across a table or, or anything like that. So that's what I would do next. And then, uh, as you can see here, I've already started sort of building up the base. For this is actually for another giant. Um, I've got a uh, Ultra Forge Giant. No, is it an Ultra Forge Giant? No, it's not. It's a Battle Forge Giant. Sorry, my mistake. A Battle Forge Giant on the way. And this is going to be, uh, well, eventually it's going to be his base. So I've just started putting some random bits of plastic on there. That I think that's from, I don't know where that's from. I think it's from an Ogre set or something. It's just a bit of a skeleton. So this will be a, a really heavy duty base for one of my giants. So. We, we we know what it looks like in the sort of the pre stages, so that's all good stuff there. And then to see what one looks like finished, that's that's exactly what it looks like when it's finished. Um, this is my Citadel Giant that I've been working on, and as you can see, the underside it's completely matte black. It's got some little um, lumps and bumps in it, but that's okay. It's it it's it's pretty uniform. And uh, it looks just really nice, basically. Um, and, and this will take a lot of punishment. This is a heavy old model. I think it's about two kilograms, this particular one. So this is, um, 
yeah, it's going to take some take a good beating. So that I mean that's how I do my sort of large scale heavy duty bases. Um, if you do something different and you find that it works, please tell me about it in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you do, and uh, maybe I could give it a go myself. Um, but yeah, yeah. If if you do have any comments, leave them in the usual place, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And thanks very much for watching. Peace.